These sets of videos are a continuation of 7.3, our product sum identities. In the first set, we covered double angle and power reducing. We're going to look a little bit more closely at half angle, and we're also going to look at product to sum and sum to product formulas. Let's go down here. Your text gives you slightly different half angle formulas, and these are what your text calls the half angle formulas. They're actually just a rearrangement of the half angle formulas from your little sheet, which are also your power reducing formulas. So your text tells you that sine of theta over two is gonna equal plus or minus the square root of one minus cosine x, or cosine theta, over two. This is simply a rearrangement of your half angle formula of sine squared theta equals one half one minus cosine two theta. Now let's look at the other ones. For cosine, we get that cosine of theta over two equals plus or minus the square root of one plus cosine theta all over two. And lastly, for tangent, we get the tangent of theta over two equals one minus cosine theta all over sine theta, or, so this one has two possible formulas, or we can say that equals sine theta all over one plus cosine theta. Either one works, it depends which you would prefer to use. If you want to, you might want to write these on the back of your identity sheet. So we have these identities, plus if you recall, we have the sum of sines and cosines formula from a little while back. Let's dive right into an example. We want to determine the exact values of sine of pi eighths, cosine of pi eighths, and tan of pi eighths. But hopefully we remember, let me pull it up here. From our practice test, there we go. We know from our unit circle that we don't like pi eighths, but we do have pi fourths. Pi fourths is gonna be important because it's double pi eighths. So we're gonna use that angle we know that pi eighths is one half of pi fourths. This is gonna set us up for our solution. All right, now let's look at what cosine of pi eighths and sine of pi eighths are, or of pi fourths, sorry. We know that cosine of pi fourths equals sine of pi fourths, which on our unit circle equals rad two over two. And we can see that here. Now using our formulas, we know that sine of pi eighths equals plus or minus the square root of one minus cosine of pi fourths. So we double that angle. all over two. We can plug in our values now. We get plus or minus the square root of one minus root two over two all over two, which equals get the square root two minus rad two all over four because we can rewrite this one up here as a two over two, which then equals, and this is a minus, whoa. We can pull out this four